compound interest part 1 hi i'm daniel souza and welcome to aptitude academy this is part 1 on the lecture on compound interest now to see the difference between compound interest and simple interest let's look at a simple example all right now i have 500 rupees and i've got two banks i've got bank a and i've got bank b now bank a operates on simple interest and bank b operates on compound interest now let's see what happens when i put 500 in bank a and what happens when i put 500 in bank b all right now for bank a which operates on simple interest the rate is 10% and the time is 2 years now your principal amount is 500 rupees so now let's calculate the simple interest for 2 years if you don't know how to calculate simple interest you might want to watch one of my previous videos now the principal is 500 rupees your time is 2 years and your rate is 10% so 10 divided by 100 right so now your ones are tens are ones are fives are hundreds are so your simple interest for 2 years is 100 rupees so at the end of 2 years when you go to the bank bank a you will get your principal amount plus your simple interest for 2 years so that is 500 plus what we've calculated here 100 rupees so you will get 600 rupees now let's see what happens when you put 500 rupees in bank b now the difference between compound interest and simple interest is nothing basically it's just the principal amount now for simple interest the principal amount remains constant for all the years but for compound interest it keeps changing now let's see the difference let's calculate one year at a time all right now the interest after one year will be ptr upon 100 as you notice this is the same formula that we used for simple interest so now the principal here is 500 rupees time is one year since we're just cal uh, calculating after the first year the rate is 10 and divide by 100 so if you calculate this it comes out to 50 rupees this is your interest after the first year now in simple interest what happens is this 50 goes and sits somewhere else and for your second year right you would have calculated it as ptr upon 100 500 into 1 in 10 divided by 100 the exact same thing what you did here you would again get 50 rupees this will go and get added to this 50 rupees and that becomes 100 rupees so at the end when you go you get 500 plus 100 rupees that is how you got 600 rupees right now let's see what happens at compound interest in compound interest after the first year they become different right for the first year compound interest and simple interest are the same thing they'll, they'll give you the same amount of money now in the second year what happens for compound interest this 50 rupees will get added to your principal amount so your new principal will not be 500 it will not be 500 rupees it will be 550 rupees so when you calculate your interest for the second year you calculate it with the new principal so 550 p into time is one year the rate is 10 divided by 100 right so this will give you 55 rupees now at the end of two years you will get the principal amount 550 plus the interest for the second year plus 55 rupees so that will give you 605 rupees all right now we saw what happens when we put 500 rupees in bank a that operates on simple interest and bank b what operates on compound interest as you may have guessed i'm putting this 500 rupees in bank b now let's look at a generalized formula for compound interest all right now for the generalized formula of compound interest let's see the principal p and rate r now for the first year, right, your principal, say P1, will be P. Your interest, I1, will be PTR upon 100. Now, let's say we write R in percentage. So, R by 100 is R percent and T is 1, right, for one year. So, P into R. R is in percentage, right? So, PR percent. So, your interest will be PR percent for the first year. Now, in, in compound interest, what happens is that the new principal amount P2 will be the previous principal amount plus the interest that was got for the previous year. So P1 plus the I1. So it becomes P plus PR percent. Right? Okay. Now calculate the interest for the second year. I2 is the current principal amount P plus PR percent. R percent into the rate so r percent right okay now we've got this now let's see for the third year so at, at the end of two years when you go to take your money out what will be the entire scenario now p3 will now be the previous year so p2 plus i2 right so now p2 is p plus pr percent plus i2 is this whole term p plus P R percent into R percent. Now let us erase this 
and get it back on top. So you get P plus P R percent plus P plus P R percent into R percent. Right? This might look complex, but it will all simplify soon. Now let's take P plus P R percent common. So you have P plus P R in percentage in the bracket one plus R percent. Right? Now let's take P common out from this term. So P one plus R percent into one plus R percent. Now you should be seeing the format. For two years we've calculated, we've got two of these terms. So you can multiply them. One plus R percent raised to two, the whole square, right? Now for two years, you got it raised to two. For n years, it will be raised to n. Now R percent is basically R by 100. So at the end of n years, the amount that you get after n years for a principal P and a rate R will be equal to P into one plus R divided by 100 raised to n. This is the formula. Now, everybody says that this is the formula for compound interest, which is wrong. This is not the formula for compound interest. This is the formula for the amount you will get if the bank operates on compound interest. To get your compound interest, you have to subtract your principal amount from this. That gives you the additional amount. What is your compound interest? All right, so this is part one on the lecture on compound interest, where we saw the basic difference between simple interest and compound interest with the help of an example. And we also derived a generalized formula. In my next lecture, I'll show you different variations of this formula, and we can solve some problems. If you like this video, do share it, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Also, tell your friends about it and spread the knowledge. Thank you. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get access to all my videos. I release new lectures every Thursday. Cheers!